Welcome to this episode of United by Trucks. We're actually playing a little bit of catch up on the building of the Blazer. So we're gonna flash back really quick to early in 2020 when Zach and Kevin from Hooks Detailing came over and we got to buffing on the Blazer. But what I need to know from you guys is, would you have buffed the Blazer or not? Do you buff original paint or old repaints on a classic truck? Is that your thing? Let me know down in the comments. Now let's jump to the video. Welcome to United by Trucks. Today, we're back on UBTK5 and we're doing something a little special. We're gonna buff out this old paint. All right guys, so we're here with Hooks Detailing. You guys love the last video we did with Zach. So we brought him back to work on UBTK5. So Zach, what's up, man? Just happy. Thanks for being here, man. Absolutely. Tell us, uh, tell us what your plan is on UBTK5 today. Uh, we're going to kind of attack this like we did John's truck. Yeah. Um, I brought some more aggressive products this time. Uh, <laughs> we got some a little more trashier paint. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, this one's got a lot of heavy oxidation. So we're going to start with a, a, a foamed, Lake Country foamed wool cutting pad and some Menzerna 400 uh, heavy cut compound. We'll try to get the most of it knocked off uh, with a quickness. So then we can start trying to bring some gloss out of this old paint. Well, tell me what you've already done. I mean, I'm blown away by the results already. So this, is this, this where you want it to end up or is this sort of one it, part of the process? Yeah, this is just the first part. Um, that's compound only just to get most of the oxidation cut off of it. And then we'll go back with a couple of other products and some less aggressive pads and try to bring as much gloss out as we can. Heck yeah, man. Well, thanks for being here. I appreciate you and Kevin both. Absolutely. Kevin doesn't necessarily like to be on camera, so he's over there off screen. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna get him on camera while he's working because he looks awesome doing that. Anyway, thanks for being here, man. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Man, this is already turning out awesome. So you can see this is the old paint on the hood. And this is the new paint after they've cut on it a little bit. Let me show you this. This is what I'm most impressed about. And y'all remember in one of the other videos, we erased the pinstriping there and we took off all the molding, but check this out. He just buffed this little spot right here and already made such a huge difference. Doesn't even look like the same color. And in fact, this color actually matches the wheels a little bit better. So I like it. We're gonna buff this whole thing today, or they are, and I'm gonna film it. And we're going to show it all to you. So you can tell that's a spot that hasn't been hit yet. And that has. And the hood was really scarred up and just had a lot of, what do you call that, Kevin? Oxidation? oxidation. A lot of oxidation. So we're getting there. We're having to use different pads on the blue and silver paint because with this single stage there's so much uh, oxidation and paint transfer coming off on the pads um, even if you clean them it's still transferring the blue into the silver paint and it will actually make it look a different color after it's done so i uh, went back and got a, a new clean pad um, just to run on the silver to make sure we don't cross contaminate anything and end up with some funky tone on the on the silver, we want it to be as close to the wheels as possible. I mean, just looking absolutely awesome. So you can see he's got probably three quarters of this fender, at least one pass the way he wants it. So you can see the difference right there around the emblem. Zach, what have you done? Knocking the cobwebs out. <laughs> It looks like we're knocking some big giant clumps of dirt. Man, I thought we got up in here and cleaned this out pretty well, but apparently we didn't. Look at all this dirt. They say a little vibration in the right spot does wonders, right? And that's what they say. I believe that is exactly uh, bearing out right here. <laughs> and I was like, I'm glad I spent a little extra time. 
Yeah. He put the top on it and he's like, yeah, you'll be real busy here in probably a month. Yeah, they keep you with me at the... Starting to make a little progress now. This paint being on the sides isn't in as bad a shape as the hood. Um, it's not been as abused by weather and UV and stuff. So it's cleaning up pretty well with just a compound. Uh, it's getting a nice gloss out. I think we should have a pretty easy turnaround on all the navy paint. Should Heck yeah, bad. man. This looks incredible compared to what it did before. I mean, we're just looking at the front fender here, obviously. So Zach's got compound on the gray and on the navy. And look how that's shining. I mean, that paint is coming back to life so much. So I'm just gonna come on back here and show you. So there's the, the navy there that has not had any compound on it. The gray has had compound. So the gray has darkened up quite a bit. We're getting some burn through, which I love. And it's just looking so much more rich. But that front fender, man, that is just beautiful. Where it was taped, where I taped it. Yeah, see pulled this? the layer off. Yeah, see how the paint's all like cracked and stuff right there? Mm hmm. Pulled a little bit Why are you doing that? Cleaning some of this gunk out of bed. <laughs> Trying to make this one last a little longer. So, <laughs> so we finished cutting this damn silver off this Heck side. Heck yeah. That's a little more rough on this side, isn't it? It is. It is. This side must have must have been facing the sun, I guess. <laughs> Maybe they got drunk when they were painting this side. Yeah, I think that might be it more than anything. Just somebody did a terrible job. We'll make it safe. Oh yeah. It's just an all character, baby. All right guys, so Zach and Kevin from Hooks Detailing have got UBTK5 compounded, polished. I mean, I can't even believe it turned out as well as it has. And we're gonna show you a little bit more about it here in just a minute, but first we're gonna get these pinstripes on. So Zach's an old school square body guy. Like I said, I mentioned him before. Um, he gave me my first ride in a C10. He actually had a dark Navy 87. And he's put a lot of pinstripe on. So we're about to put this Vastine's Paint Garage Stripe Kit on UBTK5. And I hope you guys like the pinstripe choice we went with. We worked with Brian Vastine at Vastine's Paint Garage to make sure we got something that was going to really, really pop on UBTK5. I mean, obviously we knew we were going to buff the outside, which is not original paint. It's definitely been repainted and the center stripe, uh, the silver reel was not necessarily a great job. But buffing it, you know, taking that old paint, bringing it back to life, and then putting a pinstripe like this on it, I think is going to make a huge difference. So Brian Vastine, who reproduces the stripe kits for the 81 to 87 C10, is a big time patina guy. He's a big time paint guy. Uh, he also buffs his vehicles, and he just really does a really, really great job with his stuff. So I worked with him pretty closely to, to make sure that we were getting something that was going to pop up against the blue and silver. And he recommended doing red, but instead of doing silver, doing white. So we're going to throw on this red and white pinstripe here. Zach's going to make sure that we get it on there straight. We're going to show you all what that looks like here in just a minute. So big thanks to Brian over at Vastine's Paint Garage for reproducing this stripe kit because I'm pretty sure it's going to go on well. We've seen some trucks 
that that's been on. So if you're looking for this stripe kit, definitely head over to Vastine's Paint Garage on Instagram and check him out and inquire about all the different color stripe kits that he can put together for your 81 to 87 square body truck. So the cool thing we just realized about this, and I remember this when I bought this before, but obviously as time goes by, you get a little bit unsure about how things are supposed to be. And Brian Vastine, who makes these kits, actually puts that bin in the front of the fender in there for you. You don't have to worry about having it all crinkled up at the front of the fender because he does it for you. Brian, I gotta tell you, man, we hadn't installed this yet, but it sure does look awesome. So what I'm talking about is right here where he gives you the bend that goes up the fender. So this is what a lot of kits on the market don't do. They just give you a straight piece and you gotta come up on the front of the fender and then bend it and it oftentimes wrinkles right there. So this is also a little bit thinner on the front of the fender. So you've got this thinner strip that comes up, it has the bend and goes right along the top of the, the two-tone paint. So we're gonna show you exactly what that looks like over here. And big thanks to Brian for making sure you got this right, because this is killer. All right guys, so Zach, at the Vastines Paint Garage, stripe on. Man, doesn't that look killer? It does to me. It's exactly what we were going for. So we're gonna finish laying this out all across the truck. Show you what it looks like when we're done. All right guys, so I can't describe, and I hope this video describes the change, the transformation that has happened on UBTK5. Look at all that on this hood. Zach and Kevin, Hooks Detailing, they have, man, put in some time. I mean, this hood now shows all the bruises. You can see some there. But it also shows just character and I don't know, a dang good job polishing or compounding and polishing this thing. Cause that looks amazing. Look into different shapes of blue right here. I know. I think it's original. It's so I think I that was the camera will catch it, but yeah. see how it, the blue changes yeah. colors right there. I'm pretty sure that was the original blue. Yeah. And then that's the, the, the repaint, what we're seeing on top. Vastings Paint Garage stripes on that y'all have seen. Man, I'm so happy about how that turned out. So Rocky's on his way now. We're gonna put the lower molding on. Zach, you wanna go ahead and pull this thing outside and get a shot of it? Might as well. Might as well. God, this thing turned out good. This might be one of my new favorite shots too. I mean, we don't have the spare tire carrier on there yet, but man, the pinstriping across the back, even Zach was even able to make it lay properly across the, the handle there. Cause I don't know if you can see in the, in the shot, but there's a raise where it goes over the, or a rise, where it goes over the handle. I'd have to say I'm happy with that, guys. And that gray just, golly. I mean, that, that almost went from silver to gray. Yeah. I mean, it almost perfectly matches the wheels. Yeah, it does. So we've got some molding here. Rocky's on his way now, like I said, we're gonna get this molding on, wrap up the exterior, put the spare tire on the rear, and then we'll finish up, no, you're good. And then we'll finish up the exterior tomorrow. I have to say though, the pinstripe, the polished compound, I mean, that was just a perfect combination. To me, that's hard to beat. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments, do you think we did the right thing by buffing the blazer? We obviously haven't buffed Teddy yet. It's original paint, probably gonna leave it like that. Van, same way. But I felt like the blazer probably needed a little something extra, so we buffed it. Let us know down in the comments what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
Definitely smash that thumbs up button, and we'll catch you next time right here on another episode of United by Trucks. Cue the music.